the magnificent Wadi Dekar. For hundreds of years, people have depended on this valley's water supply. But every so often, this picturesque part of Oman unleashes floods on the people in nearby villages. These buildings in the town of Hail al Gaf still show the destruction from Cyclone Gonu from five years ago, a storm that killed 50 people and caused millions in damages. Saif al Akzami remembers it well, but he doesn't see why people have to move. The village has two grand mosques where people gather for Friday prayers as well as three others. It also has a marketplace, a fortress and a spring. There's infrastructure including electricity and telephone lines and a modern water network. There are two schools and there was a health centre. People don't wish to abandon the village and move elsewhere, so they're trying to preserve it. But now the days when there's such a close relationship between this water and the village could be numbered. For centuries this wadi has been the lifeblood of the local community, a way of growing food, of making a living, but now the government says that's not sustainable and it's time for change. And that means building things like this, a dam and reservoir that cost more than a hundred million dollars, which will store water so it can be used when needed. A new school and hundreds of free brand new homes, complete with mosques and shops, to get people to leave the valley. But many are still in temporary buildings, waiting for the houses to be finished. And they're all several kilometers from traditional farmland, and sometimes smaller than what they've already got. Helal Gaf is known for its fine mangoes to residents and tourists alike for hundreds of years. It attracts tourists for this reason, so we are not encouraging the farmland to be abandoned. We are just recommending that it be restructured. Because of increasing oil and gas revenues, things are changing. And for many, that means a change in how they live. Andrew Hopkins, Al Jazeera, Hail Al Gaf, Oman.